Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a protein and fiber rich breakfast toast recipe ideal to include in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipe. Into a bowl, I'm adding in half cup yellow moong dal. I'm adding in some water and I'm going to soak it for about two to three hours. If you're planning to make this toast as a breakfast, you can soak it overnight. Longer soaking will help to release the phytic acid content in the dal. If you're planning to make this as an evening snack, you can soak it in the afternoon. It's about three hours now and the moong dal has soaked really well. So I'm going to wash and rinse it a couple of times. Okay, now I have washed and rinsed it thoroughly and I have also strained the moong dal. Into my chutney grinder, I'm adding in a small piece of ginger and one green chili. I'm adding in the rinsed and strained soaked moong dal and to this I'm adding in half teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds sea salt as needed 1 fourth teaspoon hing also known as asafoetida powder hing and jeera will help with digestion so try not to skip it I'm adding in 1 fourth cup water and I'm going to blend this really well okay now the moong dal is nicely blended I'm transferring it into a bowl. And to this I'm adding in half teaspoon Kashmiri chilli powder, one fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon amchur powder, also known as dry mango powder, one fourth teaspoon freshly ground black pepper powder. And with a spoon, I'm giving this all a good mix. Once thoroughly mixed, I'm going to keep it aside. Into my small chopper, I'm adding in one green chili. Green chili you can increase or decrease as per your taste. Adding in one medium sized carrot, roughly chopped. Two to three sprigs of uh, coriander leaves. One fourth of a capsicum, I'm roughly chopping and adding in. Half of a medium sized onion. Onion also, I'm roughly chopping and adding in. I'm chopping the vegetables really finely. Instead of the vegetables I'm using, you can use any seasonal vegetables of your choice. Add the roughly chopped vegetables into the moong dal batter. With a spoon, I'm giving this a good mix. Now this batter can also be kept in the refrigerator in an airtight glass container and it will stay good for a couple of days. To make the toast, I'm using my homemade sourdough bread. I'm drizzling in about a teaspoon of wood pressed groundnut oil. I'm spreading the moong dal mix on top of the bread slice. A couple of tablespoons of the batter and then I'm spreading it all over the bread slice. I'm sprinkling in some sesame seeds on top. And I'm placing this moong dal batter side down onto the hot tawa. And I'm going to allow it to toast on low flame. A couple of minutes later, carefully flip it over and allow that side to toast as well. And once that side is toasted, transfer to a plate. Repeat the same thing with the rest of the bread slices. And my super healthy protein and fiber rich moong dal toast is ready to serve. So guys do try this protein and fiber rich moong dal toast and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.